I know what's up with the audio. Audio's pretty bonkers. We're taking a look at some of the exciting new mechanics in Nickelodeon Nickel All-Star All -Star Brawl 2. 2. Let's go. To start, let's take a look at some of the completely new ways. Nick oh my Ball god, look at this map, man. Movement in Nick and SpongeBob. Fully analog. I know y'all aren't really paying attention to this, but look at SpongeBob throughout his movement on his ship. Movement look at the shadows. Is now fully look at the shadows on him. That is a huge improvement improvement graphic wise and i love it run and you can also aim some moves in any direction available to a control stick mm -hmm. it's also worth mentioning that yes hmm. tap is now an option and you're able to okay see finally profiles with your name tag. let's go let's go when it comes to defense rolling spot dodging and air dodging are now all available okay there's also two types of air dodging there's the neutral air dodge mm. which keeps your current momentum and the directional air dodge okay which pushes you towards whatever direction you're holding that's Each cool. Of these techniques has a little bit of Look at all these props on the on the ship, man. That's cool. Or even slip in a counter attack. Just keep in mind, you can't act instantly out of these options. And yes, with air dodging, that also means wave dashing is wave dashing. Wave dashing is fun. Remember it from Nick Brawl One. The rock paper scissors mechanic is a lot of people don't like wave dashing. It's weird. Just including new get good with it. What? Strong attacks are what you'd expect. Stronger than your regular light attacks and usually quite mm -hmm. slower. Charge up. They can now also be charged. Bam. Oh, and swing. The air, and they still reflect projectiles. As for light aerial attacks. Oh my god. Options. That's the, um, which episode is that? As for light. I forgot what episode that was. Aerial attacks. You now have five total options. Up, down, forward. I love the callbacks. Neutral. Blocking has also been changed. While blocking, you can get still pushed mm. around teeter if you get pushed Look left. at the flying Dutchman in the back. Now, you can only block a limited amount oh. of damage for a limited amount of time before your bubble See, I don't, bursts. I don't like to compare a lot of platform fighters to Smash. Because, you know, each one is their own thing, right? But uh, that that's a very interesting block mechanic. <laughs> a circle that slowly starts to shrink. That's... um. Pretty familiar, but I don't know. When that happens, you suffer no block mm -hmm. stun and no block mm. opponent's attack and can act immediately. And now, the biggest addition to Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2 okay. the slime meter. The slime meter. Build up your slime meter during your match by hitting Whole your ship looks like slime. Attacks. Is that a mushroom on the floor? Oh no, those are nails. One of the first okay. ways to use slime is by spending one of the three available bars to enhance your special attacks. Okay. Like SpongeBob, for instance. Normally blows one measly, tiny, innocent bubble. Measly. But if you enhance it with slime, you slime three, three. Much more powerful three big bubbles. That's cool. That can assist you in controlling space and locking down. Okay, okay. Feel like you see him? See him in the back there? That's cool. Oomph? Oomph? What? Just won't he grew. Bummer. That's also a great time to use your meter. Okay. All special moves in the game have a powerful slime version to explore. Okay, so okay, sure okay. Every single one. Slime burst is another use of slime that can help you out on defense. Hmm. Okay. Mercilessly, are about to go like me. Out of the ring, like me. Like me. Do a slime burst to stop all. Oh your my gosh, bro. Your away. That gave me flashbacks to uh Street Fighter Six. Um, what's his face? Just keep in mind, it costs two Zangief. Thank you. Plenty of other powerful offensive options available with slime as well. <laughs> One of those powerful options is the super attack. If you manage to build up all three bars, you can unleash. Oh my super god! As an easy way to ring out any opponents you might catch. So here's the thing: were supers a thing in NASB One? I I don't know. I don't remember. At least when I stopped playing, I don't know if they weren't. Then this this. Nick All Star Brawl 2 is already a one step up. That's cool. That's really cool. Damn. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> a totally unique looking animation to their super. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's go back. When Patrick dies here, a totally unique he spawns in by this star portal thing. In the original, I'm pretty sure the enemy just spawns in. They just spawned in. Whoop de doo. I'm here. Let's fight. I'm glad that. It shows, I don't know, it gives more character for that star universal portal thing to appear. I still don't know what it is. 
But that's cool. I like that. Unique looking animation to their super. So definitely be sure to check those out and let us know which one is your absolute favorite. This is so cool. Slime is altogether the key to becoming a master, master Nick, Nick Brawl Brawl too. Okay. We just mentioned only scratches the surface of how you'll be using it. Mm. Once you're comfortable with basics, it's time to get into some of the more advanced. Advanced tech like me. For all you sweaty players out there. I'm sweaty. No, I'm not. Another powerful <laughs> option that you can spend your meter on. Okay. And its applications are only limited by your creativity. Instead of spending a bar to enhance an attack, you can use it to cancel. Cancel an attack. Okay. What does that mean? Basically, instead of having to wait for the rest of your mm. attack recovery, you can do a slime cancel. Mm. Do anything you want. If your opponent is nearby and tumbling from recent attack, they'll momentarily freeze next to you. Okay. You line up your next attack. That's interesting. Breath, and keep the combo, keep the combo going. going. So it freezes the enemy in place for you to do another attack, but... It won't be quite as powerful as it would be after doing a okay, slime so cancel. Okay, so... When you cancel, so that keeps the enemy in place, but the next attack you do won't do that much damage. But still, that's really cool. That's really cool, actually. I like that. So those potentially powerful combo finishers, combo finishers. Mm. might not always be the best options to go for after a slime cancel. That's cool. Slime canceling can also come in handy if you miss an attack or are just short of the ledge when trying to recover. Mm -hmm. Tired of using your legs? Want to get close to your opponent faster? Mm -hmm. How about using slime to turn your air dodge into, air dodge a, into a much faster air dash? Air dash. Okay. This is a great way to break through your opponent's defenses or just barely squeeze. Oh out my god! I just can't go over the shadows on him. Might not be able to get one. That's so cool! Just Look. Like you're not invincible like you would be with an air dodge. Okay. So don't just go throwing yourself at your opponent, expecting to hit them every single time. No, I, I will hit them every time though. That's the thing. So those are some of the core mechanics to look out for in okay. Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2. Mm. We'll have more fun discovering and exploring the ways to play, Future. especially with the all new slime meter. For a slightly more in depth look at the characters themselves, keep an eye out for the. We're gonna be dropping a whole new trailer right now. <laughs> where we dive into everyone's all new move sets, game plans, and quirks. That's cool. Was that a move? Mm, was that a new move? All new move sets. Boom. Oh no. My whole light turned off. Okay. Um Look at this move. That's interesting. I don't remember that, but mm, that's cool. It's game plans and quirks. Thanks for watching. That's cool. I like that. Ten out of ten, can't wait to play this game. I, I, ten out of ten. That's cool. I like it. <laughs> that's all. So, um, the gameplay mechanics seem really fun. Seem really fun. There's definitely a lot more that you can do compared to the first game. If they changed the moveset of other characters, then that's also going to be interesting to try out. The shadows were the one thing that caught my eye throughout this whole gameplay game mechanic trailer. I love the shadows. I love the lighting. I love everything about this. But yeah, uh, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And, um, yeah. Bye.